So I was intrigued to see what the e-bike was like on a descent and an ascent. So Steve Jones and I from my sister channel, EMBN, at Afan Bike Park to see what e-bike was all about. With the weather closing in and Storm Gertrude upon us, we started to ascend Afan's Whites Level Trail. Is your bike in a short, short circuit in the wreck? Hey, so Blake, this trail is appropriately called Dastardly and Mutley. <laughs> I like it. I <laughs> like you, it. Do you know what? Already I'm thinking that even though we're trying to find out if an e-bike is fast compared to a trail bike, this trail is actually pretty rough, so... It is. Do you know what? I find it with my bikes being quite light. It's easy to manipulate, find my line, yeah. not pedal strike a lot. Because I'm trying to keep, I almost in, I'm in eco mode to save my battery. Yeah. I obviously look after my mate behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I guess I'm acting like a big, uh, a big Arctic lorry in front of you to protect you from the wind, right? Yeah. Horrible <laughs> headwind, and I'm using you. Also, I'm using you as a pace marker. Yeah. Trying to keep up with you, keep momentum on the rough stuff, and watch you lift but up I'll that front wheel. Tell you what, Blake, it's almost like a riverbed going up here. Really quite technical climbing. It is, eh? It's not all about speed on this. Definitely not. Look at that. Sideways rain. This is mountain biking, right? This is mountain this biking. This is proper mountain biking. This is trail riding. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's still wet. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> but it's warm. I'm warm. I'm warm. I'm totally warm. You're wearing Wellingtons. <laughs> nice. My feet will be dry at the end of the day. Mine are wet from yesterday's ride. Hey, so t uh, listen, this is uh, almost at the top of climb one. Yeah. Um, we're just riding together. We are, aren't we? Yeah. That bit there, technical. Yeah. You gotta find your line, like we've been talking about. Yeah. But up here, when yeah. the trail gets a little bit smoother, exactly. the e-bike kind of gets its in its own element. Yeah. It starts to, yeah, totally. you can keep that momentum going. The thing is, this is where there's not been any erosion on the trail because down there, it was like a riverbed. It was, wasn't it? It's yeah. really difficult. <laughs> Every rock is, is pushing you back, even on the e-bike. So I can yeah. imagine on the, tr on the conventional bike, it's even more, it's a physical challenge. Yeah. Right there. yeah it is. But you're you a strong lad. Just, I got to kick that line. <laughs> got to keep up using you as a pacemaker. That's what I'm a- uh, Arctic lorry. Arctic, no. <laughs> It is, a, it, is a, it is a headwind. <laughs> uh, Blake, a little bit about the trail we're on today. It's called White's Level. Yeah. Uh, steeper and tougher, mostly single track with technical sections. Yes. Boardwalks, berms, large rocks, medium steps, drop-offs, cambers, and water crossings. Watch out, you don't short circuit your way, A high level of fitness required. 525 right. meters of gain. Yeah. One and a half to three hours loop, 17 Ks. Yeah. Graded red. 17 K. With, with the occasional black. But you know what? I think the most challenging thing about this trail is not the trail, but that weather. That weather is not, it's coming in this front. <laughs> it is wet. Sideways rain, headwinds that way. Yeah. And we are going that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> was epic. Wow, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, but what I found out, you love pedaling. Yeah, I had to pedal. I had to pedal because um, the ground was, I mean, it wasn't downhill, it was It was like kind of that gradient. Yeah, it's not completely down. Yeah, and in, in situations like that, bear in mind, I've got a 25K restriction on here. Yeah. So I've got to push, push a 21K bike yeah. through that. Yeah keep moving. Momentum going. But still, I can still pump the ground a little bit, but nowhere near 
Yeah. As much as what you can do on that. I grant it, I give you that every yeah. day of the week. This was, I felt like a ballerina. Well, like you are a ballerina, pal right? Prancing everywhere, gaining speed, and you yeah. were like pedaling. I'm like, oh, I need a pedal. But if the trail starts to go, uh, I think that will be better. <laughs> but next, Blake, is something which is your cup of tea Ooh. all over jumps. Ah, oh, Blake, shit. Oh, that's gutting. 26 inch? Yeah, yeah. Blake, what are you doing? Yeah. Not only have you got an antique bike, you're an antique too. Yeah. <laughs> 26 not dead, man. We've got valve type as well. Yeah, look. I've look got, at the valve got type. Car tire. And how, big's the right. hole, how big's the hole in your rim? Let's bring. Let's bring. That is a good question. Shies and Let's bring Blake Sampson into the 21st century, shall we? Oh, Go on, give it a go. Give it a go. Uh, Go on, go give it a go. I'll fix the puncture. Yeah? Yeah, do it. Right. Just give it a spin. Go on, go on. Hit those, go and hit those drops. E-bike life for me. Go and hit those drops. Go on, let's see up there. If I did this trail, yeah. and that bit down there, okay. and then I went back up what's and the, did this trail again. What's the verdict? The smile on my face <laughs> says it all. Like, oh, look, like I'm going to be probably another five I did minutes. it in half the time getting back to the top of this trail. Yeah. And I rode the trail. Yeah. Not tired. Yeah. Did that bit there and I did this section again. Yeah. Twice and I'm not tired. So is it fun? Climbing a new bike. Quite yeah. Far the best well, how did it, I mean, that's a relatively flat trail. How did it feel in comparison to your, to your trail bike? Obviously not as lively and as nimble, it's right? It's not as, yeah. Like you said, it's not as lively and as nimble and as, Agile, but it but it does the job. I had fun. Yeah, and, and being a bigger bike. Yeah, it can't. You can just go. Do you think? You, do you think it's simply a matter of different timing to ride a bigger bike? Yeah, and you can you can maybe use if you got the timing right. You use different shapes of the ground to get yep. more boost, right? You can see the bigger the obstacle, the yeah. more that you can use it to your advantage. Yeah, to get out the most out of the roll and pump of a big bike. Well, Blake, I wish I could jump a bike like you did through there. What does it feel like on a, you know, having a heavy bike compared to a light bike through some jumps? I know they weren't jumps. They no, weren't. yeah, but having a trail like that where you can actually have little challengeable gaps, yeah. where you're going to have to muscle your bike and your body weight over certain gaps. Yeah. This, to be honest, I work a lot harder because it's a lot heavier, yeah. especially when the jumps are small. That is super easy. You can I just mean, like blah, 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 blah. And so now for the counter argument. So do you know what's interesting? I got on this bike and I thought, oh my God, this bike is lightning <laughs> yeah, fast. Yeah. And yeah. Um, obviously the weight is, is something to do with it. And yeah. you can flick it around quite yeah. easily. Obviously, like we mentioned earlier, it's all about the timing on that. Mm. However, we didn't take into account tires. No, Now no. you've got harder compound tires with more pressure. A I've lot, got... they ride a lot faster. Exactly. So you can't, we can't really, you can never do any bike test comparisons if you haven't got the same tires. However, now we're back into that flat single track Oof. where I'm expecting you to take off yet again as I'm yeah. trying to push through that I'm 25K. Right, Steve, the end is near, but it's the end of the video for it you is. people at home. Mm. The final descent yep. to Glen Corrug. Finish, we're gonna get warmed uh, up. But Blake, when it comes to verdict time, just around the corner there, massive headwind. Horrible headwind. E-bike e -bike for sure. I felt like my legs were lead, like lead and I couldn't yeah. get anywhere. And those little punchy climbs? Yeah, when the trail goes a bit wavy, mm. the e-bike for sure, because yeah. you can you know, keep your momentum yeah. through that whole section. 
I feel like this is a bit more nimble. I can mm. gain a lot of speed where I saw you were pedaling to keep mm. above 25 yeah. kilometers. And I, and I, think, I was like, I think you've got a fair point when, when the terrain is a, when the ground's on a certain yeah. angle. However, <laughs> when it starts to dip down, I reckon I that's think this, this is better. Yeah, Actually, it munches it. And that's about it, Blake, right? Yeah. Don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe. And if you want to see more of this great content, give us a thumbs up, like. Blake, thanks so much for today. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to. Uh, the final descent. Get down there. We've got to get back. Yeah. I need a shower. Before we go down the hill, <laughs> I think I need to have a bit of a, a bit of a clean up. Oh, look at Ooh. that.